It's your boy Mo signing on for Fresh Colorway. And today, we gonna take a look at the Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. And I need you to join a Fresh Crew. How you join a Fresh Crew? You click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I know that's right. Now these Jordan 4 Midnight Navies dropped today, October 29th of 2022 for a retail price of $210. And I can't lie, like these was tough to get. I thought these was gonna be a lot easier. All these rumors about high production. You no, know, I know a lot of them shoes got stole down in Memphis, Tennessee, where they broke into the Nike headquarters. And this was like the premier shoe that was stole in that heist. This and them Jordan 11 cherries. But I still thought it was gonna be enough fares on the street that at least be able to get your size. However, here in my city, these were slim pickings. It was very slim pickings. A lot of these places got shipments, but the raffle system, you know, people hit on raffles. Not that many people hit. A lot of these pairs, I believe, might have got backdoored or, you know, whatever was going on. A lot of these pair was not available to the general public. And right now, Jordan 4s is like the silhouette to go after. So just about every Jordan 4 is calling for a high resale price, sort of like Jordan 1s was about a year to two years ago. Now, one thing I can say about this shoe is that Jordan brand did a good job. Like, the materials they put on here was very nice. It got more of a tumble leather than I've seen on any one of these last recent Jordan 4s that released. Now, when you take a look at the military black, the material on these was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was kind of tumble. The red thunders, these were suede, so you know, I mean, it was cool. It wasn't like no long hair suede or nothing, but they was okay materials. The materials on the upper on this one was okay. Decent shoe. But, you know, nothing really to write home to mom about when it comes to the materials. But then they gave us these. This leather is super premium. It looks super tumbled just around the upper and the mid panel. I don't know if you can see if it's picking up well on the camera, but if you can, I mean, it, it's very nice. It's a very nice shoe. A lot of times, less is more with these because the silhouette is just so nice on its own that you don't need to put a lot of gimmicks or different colors in it. Just keep it simple, two, three colors and then you would knock it out the park. These clearly took a lot of inspiration from the cement fours, the white cement joints, and those just have black everywhere where it's navy blue, and the tongue on the shoe was slightly different, and of course the OGs definitely had the Nike Air in the back, it didn't have a Jumpman on it, so this is a, a nice rendition of that shoe, they just added the midnight navy color, and you know me, you can't really go wrong with the midnight navy color. Now when or it comes to sizing on this shoe, it pretty much fits like any other Jordan 4 that I had. Doesn't run, you know, any smaller or bigger. But with Jordan 4s in general, if this is your first Jordan 4 that you bought, you do want to possibly go a half size up if you have a wider foot. Um, me, I have a wide flat foot, so a half size up definitely does me some good. But if you have a slim narrow foot, true to size should work pretty well for you. Now when it comes to craftsmanship, I feel like they did a pretty good job on this shoe too. I don't have too many glue stains or hiccups or anything on this shoe. To me, I think they did a pretty nice job. I can't complain at all. I like this shoe. It reminds me a lot of those Valerian Blue Dunk Lows that I had. I ended up selling my pair because I knew these was coming out and the colorways are just too similar. I didn't think the Valerian Blue would get a lot of wear out of my collection, so I went ahead and picked these up you know, in exchange for that one. Now, if I grade this shoe one to 10, with one being the worst and 10 being the best, this shoe comes in about a 9.5. It's almost the perfect shoe. Like it's hard to get a perfect 10 rating, but this shoe is pretty much the best it gets. And I mean, it's about as close as it gets. Now with this shoe, the thing is, is the wearability factor. You can wear this shoe with just about anything. I mean, it's a navy blue colorway, white, the cement, can't really go wrong with it. And a lot of people been hitting me up asking, should they hold or sell these? So I'ma definitely get y'all a hold of sale video tomorrow and tell you if it's worth time and resources in this particular shoe. So make sure you tune into the channel tomorrow so you don't miss that video. And before we get out of here, I wanna hear from the Fresh Crew. Did y'all pick up these Jordan 4 Midnight Navies? Did y'all let them sit? Did y'all get lucky on sneakers app? Drop it down in the comment section below. And I need you to join the Fresh Crew. How you join the Fresh Crew? You click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. It's your boy Mo signing out for Fresh Colorway. 
and I'll catch y'all on the next one.